guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's Brianna and in this week's video, it is just going to be a, another study vlog except it is midterm season, so it's midterm edition. I have so much work to do, so many things to hand in and so many things to study for. I'll put up my schedule while I'm working so you guys can see that. So without further ado, let's just get studying. So at the start of every single week, I like to plan out a weekly schedule and that's just what I'm doing here. I'm using Notion, that's what the website or the app is called, and the template is from Revisign on YouTube. I've linked her template and her channel in the description box, so make sure to check it out if you guys want to get organized too. And as promised, here is my weekly Notion schedule so we can all look at it. I have a midterm exam for Calculus 2 on Monday and a midterm exam for Chemistry on Thursday. Hey guys, so it is Sunday morning and I'm sorry for the low energy, but I am so tired from yesterday. I stayed up so late and I'm just gonna get some admin work done on my laptop now um, just to get my day started like slowly because I do try to relax on the weekends, but I know this week I'm gonna be so busy. I'm literally falling asleep, like talking right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and get through some of my emails and some revision that I have to get done, so. Yeah. What I really like about study vlogs is they're kind of like a diary where I can just like have weekly entries and I get to update them. So last week I said that I had a women in healthcare club interview to become a marketing director and I can tell you guys now that the interview went well I assume because I did get the position and I actually had a meeting for the club later on in the day. And after my meeting, I just went straight back into doing some weekly discussion posts and like assignments and responding to other people's comments. I know that during like online school, a lot of people have like struggles doing this and I am one of those people. I just find it's kind of hard to remember that I need to respond to a prompt every single week, especially when it's in multiple courses. So let me know if you guys have this problem too. Just a little update, I am working on my math midterm right now. I actually woke up around 8.30, if not earlier. I had like a light breakfast and yeah, um, my wife has just been cutting in and out. So doing the midterm has been like annoying, but it's, it's fine. So oddly enough, I've fallen in love with the idea and the look and aesthetic of live study vlogs or real-time study vlogs sorry that's the word and i think it's just like more realistic i feel like i do love time lapses and those are the ones that i still prefer to watch on my own time but i do just like the vibe of like someone casually working with you so let me know what you guys think Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday. Um, I was just doing some light admin work before and after my bio tutorial, which was at 11, and now it's around one. Um, I think I'm just gonna be doing some chemistry practice problems because my midterm is on Thursday and I didn't have a chance to do them last night because after my math midterm, I was just like absolutely wiped out. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard and I didn't think it was gonna take me that long. And then right after I just did a light workout and washed up and then I was gonna study and then I just, I just fell asleep. So I have a bit of catching up to do if I wanna stay on track on the schedule that I laid out for myself. So yeah, that's what I'm using. And if you guys want, I don't mind doing a mini Notion tour because I do use it a lot now. So just let me know. And yeah, I'm just gonna get working on some chemistry. 
I think one of the best productivity tips that I have for you guys, you guys often ask me how do I stay productive, how do I stay motivated, and it's definitely by surrounding myself with like-minded people. So people who are as equally motivated as me or even more motivated than me, I have like a really nice study group and we all just like hop on a Discord call and we're like playing music and we're just doing like similar assignments or working on separate different things, but it's a really great way to keep each other accountable because when you see like several other people working just like when you're in normal class you feel inclined to work as well So I've seen a few comments asking like how I take notes or like how do I study and honestly for chemistry I think the best thing is to listen to the lectures for the theory because usually the profs make really good analogies and I find when it comes to chemistry like calculations the best way that I can practice is just by doing practice problems over and over again so then you can see the different ways that you can manipulate the equations to get the final answer. And Thursday was a good day because I got a package and my friend Alan came by to drop off some midterm snack and goodies which was really sweet of him and then I got straight into my chem midterm this was literally all right before I started writing you can see I'm just drinking my milk tea and starting the chem exam in real time Hey guys, so I just finished my chem midterm and honestly, I don't know how it went. It definitely could have went worse and it definitely could have went better. So it's just like in the middle, I guess. I'm gonna take a break for an hour or so and just like eat some dinner because tomorrow is Chinese New Year. So I should be spending time with family and stuff. But yeah, after that, I'm probably gonna just do my research paper, do my lab because those are due soon and i've just been putting them off because i've been studying for a midterm that i think i still did bad on so yeah this is actually a pretty good representation of what my desk setup looks like and you guys have probably seen it a million times but i thought i'd just go over it really quickly so of course i just have my lamp that is not a desk lamp it's probably a living room lamp but I should probably change that. I will eventually. And then I just have my laptop, my monitor, my mouse, and I actually recently got a keyboard because I do plan on putting my laptop on a really high laptop stand so it's more at eye level so it's not so bad for my posture. But yeah, I'll probably do a desk tour and like desktop tour later on. So last night I handed in my research paper that I was actually working on for like two weeks and it wasn't even that long, I just it just took me so long to hand it in. But yeah, that's done now and now I'm just working on my lab report that's due in less than 24 hours and I just didn't start it during the week because I was too worried about my midterm exams. So yeah, I'm working on it now. 
I forgot to film a proper sign off because I'm such a scatterbrain, but thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment what you thought. I hope this video was motivating and helped you become productive. I love making these kinds of videos and I do have a nice one planned for you coming this Wednesday, so make sure to turn on that post notification bell. And with that being said, I hope you're all in good health and I'll see you guys in the next one.